I think this data does uh, absolutely add to the weight of evidence that suggests that uh, there is not a very large increased risk of cancer among patients receiving anti-TNF treatment. Uh, one of the challenges when studying an outcome such as cancer is, uh, even though it is one of the leading causes of death in the general population, it still remains a relatively uncommon uh, outcome and therefore you have to study large populations of patients for many years to be able to come to more definitive answers about that. And one of the advantages of the large biologics registers is just that, and in our case we've been following over 12,000 treated patients uh, and now many of these patients have reached five years of follow-up and it's allowing us to now publish uh, more definitive answers about cancer. I think although it'd be very attractive to say that we wouldn't expect to see different risk profiles among the different populations of patients with different rheumatic diseases, I think each population probably does need to be studied separately. Particularly in rheumatoid arthritis, patients are known to already have an increased risk of cancer and therefore the effects of anti-TNF could be different in this population. In addition, each of these populations tend to have different age and gender profiles. For instance, a population of patients with ankylosing spondylitis tend to be younger and male, and therefore the uh, types of cancers you might observe and the risk of cancer could be very different. I think every time you make a decision to start a patient on any therapy, you need to discuss not only what the risks of treatment are going to be, but also the benefits. And without a doubt, the potential for significant benefit among patients with RA starting anti-TNF is significant. Um, and overall, the risk of cancer is very low. Even the absolute risk is extremely low. And I think patients need to weigh both the potential to have uh, improvement in their quality of life and their disease activity and uh, based on these results I think that far outweighs what the potential risk of cancer is. Of course the drugs need to be taken as a whole and cancer is only one of the concerns that we have. This is Carrie Walker reporting for Global Medical News Network.